everyone welcome back to another bike brew tutorial and this time we're going to be on the dashboard and we're going to be showing you guys some new pages that we just added so let's go over to our tabs over here and let's go click on custom workspace so we added a few new um pages one's called funnels breakdowns cohorts and we're going to be going into the funnel so this is the new page called funnel explorer here we're going to be breaking down on how you guys can start doing uh, tracking of custom events based off of uh, user transitions to those events and we're going to show you guys how to set it up so right here we see funnel filters funnel settings you have a graph and a data table and you will see you have the same kind of load filter save filter as we do in the explore page we'll save that for later but in the funnel filters you guys will see that you kind of have the same uh filters when it comes to the explore page you know uh, geo device OS version acquisition type a B tests retained users and so on and so forth with purchasing users and end users and then we're gonna have a funnel settings now over here you guys will see that this has a button called add step to funnel so when you guys think about funnels you guys think about how you want your users to transition so you're gonna want them to start at step one step two and then go to step three and from here we're gonna you know add step one and what type of step do we want them to do? We want, we have these current custom events. By the way, this is the demo app. So you guys will also see this when you guys are looking through the demo app. And let's say we want to see them open the shop. Let's say we had an open shop in our game. And then we're gonna add another step. And we see, wanna see how many of them, when they open the shop, how many of them do a VC purchase item, like a virtual currency purchase item when they buy something from the shop. And we can keep on adding more steps and let's do another step three and we'll say and then they went and started a level and then from there we're gonna we can add more and more and more but let's first start with three and then you guys can also you know remove them when you when they're not needed and let's hit save you're gonna see step one open shop step two vc purchase item and step three level started so let's go ahead and let's hit apply and boom, we have a funnel that was dynamically created by you just inputting which custom events. And you can see that users, when they open the shop, 95% of them purchase the item and 32% of them do a level start after that. And you guys also have the count, the number of unique users that do that, and the percentage of users, uh, as you can see from here, and how long it takes them to actually do that. Now, this is demo data, so don't reference this, but your data will look kind of different. And from there, you could also save the filter like we do in the Explorer page where you guys can name the filter, whatever you want. And then you could also have add this to query and sorry, add this to a custom analytics dashboard. And from there, you guys can put in your chart title, chart description. And when you guys hit done with that, it will go into your saved dashboards under saved funnels. And there you guys can build as many funnels as you want. And you guys can have those queries ready to go. Either you can load it from here and you will be able to bring up, you know, the current data that you need to analyze your game. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial on how to do save funnels and uh, an intro to custom workspaces with funnels, breakdowns, cohorts, and analytics. And thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.